it has two kinds of eggplant going on in it. So it's like uh, ziti and eggplant parm all mushed into one big dish. So you buy two medium firm eggplants like this. You peel one up, cube it up, throw it on a little baking sheet. Get the oven really hot, like 450. Slather some EVOO down over eggplant number one. This is gonna get roast in the oven seasoned with salt and pepper, then we're gonna grind it up and put it right into the tomato sauce. How good does that sound? I know, I know. Okay, so salt and pepper. Into the oven it goes, roast for 20 minutes. Then it looks like this guy here. It looks like a bunch of little tiny tasty flat tires like that. <laughs> then we're gonna pop that into the food processor and this is eventually gonna end up in our tomato sauce. You with me so far? Okay. Pop that in there. Grind it up into a smooth paste. Incidentally, this is a delicious appetizer. Then you take eggplant number two and you thinly slice it lengthwise, just like that. Okay? You take these pieces, you dip them in egg and milk, then you roll them around in a combination of Italian breadcrumbs, grated Parmigiano Reggiano, and some nice fresh rosemary, okay? You coat those kids and they look like this guy over here. Then you take out your biggest skillet. You could do it in two batches if you need it. If you slice them nice and thin, it'll cook in just a couple minutes on each side. It'll be nice and golden. And you just cook them in some EVOO until they're golden on both sides. While that eggplant is working, eggplant number two is working and eggplant number one is in the oven, you can start a really quick sauce. Put a little sauce pot on the stove, some EVOO, and then grate in some garlic. Couple of cloves. Put in a little bit of crushed red pepper flake. Couple of pinches. There we go. You let that all cook up together, and then you put in one 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes, and you have an eggplant marinara sauce, essentially. Mm -hmm. Also equally delicious, just as is on its own, but we're gonna turn it into a really beautiful family supper. You let this heat through and all the flavors combined, looks like this guy back here. Then right before you drain one pound of rigatoni with lines, the lines help the sauce stick on. Who doesn't need more sauce on the rigatoni, right? So rigatoni with lines, please. Right before you drain it, you put a little starchy cooking liquid in with the sauce to thin it out just a touch and you end up with this beautiful eggplant marinara. You toss all of the pasta with half of the sauce. You put that down into the bottom of the dish, okay? Then you're gonna top it with half of your fried eggplant. Like that. Then you put another layer of pasta down over the top. Kids, how excited are you for this supper? Yeah, it's big. Then you put the rest of your sauce down over the top of that. And now we're ready for the big finish. Another layer of the breaded eggplant. I know! <laughs> and then provolone cheese! And I just put the whole thing on there. It's like two cups. And then you switch the oven from oven to broiler and you put it under the broiler until the cheese gets all bubbly. And baby, that is a ziti nobody can refuse. <laughs>